In this episode of Strength Code Tutorials, I'm going to show you how to write a quick macro that is going to automatically delete all of the headshots from your spreadsheet. So what this looks like, if I were to click the Delete Photos button, you can see that all of the headshots are automatically removed. This is going to be really powerful for anyone dealing with headshots or athlete photos in their dashboards. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back and we are starting off with the sheet that we ended off with in the last video that would be Strength Coach Tutorials number 84. And as a reminder of how far we got in that video, we created a macro that when we clicked it, we were able to go to um, an image URL and then pull that URL, in this case headshots, pull that image into Excel, and then it was automatically formatted to sit right in a cell. Now for this video, what we want to do is I want to create a macro that actually goes through all of these cells and then removes those images. That way, if we were to reset this or add new URLs that we wanted to pull image, images from, we could just automatically delete all of these without having to manually kind of click each one and then hit the delete key. So this would be the way that I would normally have to do it. Um, I'm just holding down control and then hit delete and then pull them all out. But I'm gonna kind of just click the macro and, and put those back in there. It's just gonna take a second, download them from the web. So they're back in. So luckily this macro is actually a lot easier than the one that we used to pull the, the um, images in and it will only take a few lines of code. So let's go there now. So a reminder how to get to the macros, what we wanna do is go up to the top left under the developer tab and click on Visual Basic. And we're gonna go right into module two where we programmed the last macro and you can see that here, it's called sub insert image video. So I'm just gonna go down a couple of lines and we're gonna start a new one. Reminder, when you're writing a new macro, you have to use the sub command. So I'm gonna call this delete image video just to remind me that this is the macro to actually delete the images from the, the video that I'm recording. So um, like we did in the insert image video, we have to first outline our dimensions. And for this one, there is only one dimension. So what I need to outline is um, dimension pick as picture. When I hit okay, you can see that the as has turned blue and the picture is capitalized and that tells us that our syntax is correct. So then it's only a couple lines from here. What we wanna do is for each um, pick in active sheet dot pictures, and you, those are all gonna um, capitalize. We want if not application dot intersect. Um, we want pick, we wanna be choosing our pick, top, top left, cell and then the range that we want to look in and I'll take you through this in one sec range and in this case if you remember our um, picture is stored in C4 so I'm going to choose that range C4 all the way to C um, let's say 100 that should give us enough room close that off and then another bracket is nothing then and then what I want to do is pick dot delete and then and if and then go to next pick so if we've done that right that should actually that line of code should scroll through all of the images in the column of C and if there is one in the pick doc top left cell so it's looking through all of the cells if there is one in range C4 then we want to delete it and it's gonna go through all of the pictures in active sheet pictures from C4 to C100. So if it's not, then we end it and go to the next kind of picture, okay? So that is how you would do it. This range here, you would just set as the range where your images are stored and you would just scroll through. I've named this active sheet instead of one of the sheets specifically. That way we could use this on any sheet in our actual workbook, we would be able to run this macro, macro and it would scroll through C4 to C100 and actually delete all those photos. So let's make sure that we did this right. We will kind of exit Visual Basic and 
I will go to macros and the macro that we created was delete image video and let's run that. And as you can see, the syntax I guess was right because it automatically deletes those photos. So then the last piece is I'll put those all back and we want to actually create a little button that when pressed is going to run that macro, the same thing that we did for our insert headshots. So as soon as those get loaded back in, I'm just going to right click on this button and control C, control V, make a copy of it. And if I hold down alt, you can see that it automatically gets snapped to cells. Okay, so I'm just gonna snap this up one and move this up one. And then I'm gonna make this a lot smaller so that we don't automatically hit the delete button in the same way. And then delete image. And I'm going to highlight all this text, maybe make it um, white so that it shows up, make it a lot smaller so we can see all of the text. And then I'm just going to differentiate this box by changing the color of it to maybe a, like a dark blue. Now, the last piece is just to assign that macro to this button. So if I right click anywhere here, there's an option to assign macro and I'll use delete image video. And there we go. As we click that, it should automatically delete all of our images. I'll pull them back in one last time with the insert headshot macro. And as that's going here, we'll just give it a second. So there's our images. And then just to make sure that it's working one last time, we'll click the delete images. And as you can see, they do in fact delete. So I hope this video helps you out. And if it does, it would be really helpful to the channel if you could please like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification as well as leave a comment down below. I am always trying to respond to those and come up with new ideas for videos that are really going to help coaches. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.